Getting into or playing a tabletop RPG is going to require some clerical work, especially online. You're going to need to know how to organize your dice rolls, do scheduling, post art, listen to music if you're playing in the game, and also you might want to have a meme channel for all those fun and eventful moments. That's why Discord is a great tool, but how do you set up a Discord server for your D&D game or other tabletop RPGs? So today, I'll discuss how you can create a quick and effective Discord channel so you can jump right in to gaming. Hello everyone, I am Blender Digital Decision and I create queer content for tabletop RPG gamers. And if there's one thing that every gamer needs, it's a, an effective Discord server to play your tabletop RPG game. And the best thing is you don't actually need a lot for your server, but every server is different. What I need in mine is not going to be what you need in yours. But I do think there are three things you should definitely check out when creating your first server. Those are a general channel server, a dice bot channel, and a voice chat channel. Everything else is known. You don't need a meme channel. You don't need a schedule channel. All you need is a place to discuss anything and everything, aka a general channel. Maybe it might be game related or maybe it might not be. Maybe you're talking about your day or maybe you might be talking about the next upcoming game. A general chat channel is vital to doing that. You also will need a dice bot channel. This helps keep the clutter out of other channels. You don't want loads of roles like D20s, D6s, 1d4s in say your schedule channel or your general chat channel that just bogs everything down and makes it really not fun to look through especially if you're the gm and you wrote something that you really need to reference finally you're going to need a voice chat channel unless you are doing a text-based game then this isn't the video for you then a voice chat channel is the best way to communicate with your players plus it's a tabletop rpg online you gotta talk to people, so that's all you gotta figure out. You need a voice chat channel, you need a dice bot channel, and you need a general channel. So you might think the video's over. Not exactly. What if you want to add some more pizzazz? What dice bots do you use? And for that matter, how do you better organize your games using more channels? Well, first, let's dive in on looking at dice bots. First off, what bot you will need will depend on the kind of game you're playing. For instance, if you're playing a Dungeons & Dragons 5e game on Roll20, you're probably not going to need as many dice bots as you will on your server because Roll20 does all the dice rolling for you. In fact, if you are using a tabletop RPG or tabletop RPG simulator or virtual RPG simulator, then likely a bot might not be as necessary. But it's always useful to have, especially if you're the GM and you might want to make secret roles or you might have roles you want to keep for note taking. That being the case, if you're playing DD 5e, you're going to probably need several different dice. But if you're playing a Power by the Apocalypse game, then you might need only D6. Or, depending on the game, you might need 12, or whatever the case might be. Remember, cater your server and cater your channels to the game you're playing. Where do you go to find bots? Well, the first place is to look online. Some websites I very much believe in are top.gg or simply discordbotlist.com. And if you don't like those websites, you can always just simply Google Discord bots and you'll find it. From there, look for Discord bots that are related to tabletop RPG gaming. But what about any recommended bots? Well, as I said before, you're going to need a dice roller bot. So, Rollum is one of the ones I use for my games, or Dice Monkey. Definitely check out those dice bots down below in the description box. At the same time, I want to warn people who are getting into RPG scene about bots that might otherwise not be needed. Yes, bots can be an effective tool to increase immersion, such as Fredboat, make dice rolling easier, such as Dice Monkey or Rollum, make clerical stuff, such as scheduling way easier or adds value to your table, such as a meme generator or a funny, wacky YouTuber bot, for example. But Sometimes, having loads of bots is not always necessary to your game. I go by the motto that less is more. That is how I do most of my games, and I recommend you try that especially if you're new. So be sure to be conscious of the dice bots and other bots you're putting in your game so that you don't have to manage all of that stuff, give people specific access to it, and waste your time for all that when you should be focusing on playing the game and or running the game. So whatever increases or makes your experience playing and or running tipped up RPGs more fun and more enjoyable, 
add those to your server, things that don't probably might want to leave out. Of course, that also includes shaping the server to the audience at hand. If your audience wants more channels, then we'll make more channels. If your players want a meme channel, then go for it. In fact, I feel like a meme channel is pretty much important with any server. Just seriously, just have one. Or maybe you need a question and answer channel for your players. Maybe you're not always available all the time. So you might have a question and answer channel to streamline specific questions that players need to answer. Or maybe you need a music channel. There are plenty of music bots from Fredbode to, well, here's a list of some of them. Go ham with that. And also you might need a notes channel. Say a player is trying to record an item they got or maybe you need a specific note channel for your own, well, note taking. That's where you can have specific GM related channels. Maybe a private voice channel for the game master in one particular player, especially if it's a high intense situation, or you don't want your other players knowing all the information you're giving to this one specific or two specific players. A have a schedule channel, which you should be able to post in, maybe not others. A rules channel establishing what is acceptable and not acceptable at your game and in your server. And maybe even a summary channel to summarize all the sessions and to help you, whether you're a player or GM, understand where you're at in the game. Ultimately, you want to create a server that's best for you, and there's no one way to do it. What matters is that you create a server that's effective for you, and communicate with your players and the GM about what looks fun for you. Of course, I could be very well wrong. What do you think? Is there a particular bot I should add to my server? Is there a piece of information I'm missing? Or should I just try finding another or better bot besides mentioning Rolum several other times? Let me know down below in the comment section if you're interested. And if you also like this video, be sure to like it. If you disliked it, then be sure to dislike it. And as always, I'm your average everyday queer host, Lordy Disposition, and I hope you all have an awesome day. Ciao!